Which you guys, I wanted to do something with this uh, cheap gaming PC, which is the Dell Optiplex 7010 with a 1050 uh, Ti graphics card in there. Now, if you haven't seen that video, then I'll leave the cards up above, which you can click on, which showed you how to upgrade one of these Dell Optiplexes and also how to play modern day games on it. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at playing emulation games, which is the older type uh, retro games on this machine and you can pretty much install just about any type of a retro game on here and play it through an emulator and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video so you can see here if you are looking to get one of these uh, Dell Optiplexes uh, I've done videos on how to get one of these and how to pick the right one so you can upgrade it and also play all those uh, lovely modern day games and also the old type of retro games if you're into those as well so if you're obviously into gaming this video is going to be right up your street so let's go ahead and uh, take a look uh, at what we're going to do here so you can see here i've got eight gigabytes of memory in here we'll take up to 16 gigabytes uh, of memory if i wanted to put that in there but eight gigs of ram should be plenty i've also got a 1050 ti in here but you can also drop that down to a lower grade graphics card if you wanted to if you just want to use it for uh, emulation games like retro games and stuff like that and those those are basically like donkey kong and mario kart and all those sort of games if you want to play those uh, you don't probably need a 1050 ti but i'm using a 1050 ti because that's what i had to hand so let's go ahead and get this set up. We're going to be using Dolphin Emulator and uh, this is a great way of playing uh, certain types of retro games. If you want to see other types of games and how to play those on this particular machine, then let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but we're going to be playing GameCube games and uh, we're going to go over to the Dolphin Emulator site and download their software. Now Dolphin Emulator has been around for a long while and it's a great way of getting all your games that you like to play on one machine so we're going to be playing uh, the GameCube games on this one so I'm just going to install this to a folder which is called Dolphin and it will drop all the files that we need into a folder called Dolphin here so let me go ahead and uh, type this out and uh, we can extract all those files into that folder now once we've got these in here uh, what we can do is play just about any sort of uh, GameCube game that we want to and I'm going to load up a couple of them just to show you what they look like and how you can set them up so what we're going to do is extract this into here we're finished with this web page now we can close it off now we can go to our location where we installed it and uh, we can now open up uh, Dolphin so I'm just going to run uh, Dolphin I'm going to send this to my desktop as well to give it a shortcut so I don't have to keep going into the folder and now we can click on this and open up Dolphin there we go let's open so now what we've got here is just a piece of software so what you want to do here is open up your game uh, pad configuration and get your configuration right for your game pad and you can see it's moving around on the screen here and uh, you can pick up these game pads uh, online. I'll show you which one I use. Mine's something similar to the one you see on the screen, but you can pretty much pick them up. They're all the same, really. As long as you can uh, pair them up to your computer, you're good to go. So let's go into our Dolphin emulator and into our config and profiles. And I've created a profiles folder and uh, GC pad folder. And I've got in here GC underscore controller. And this is a pre-configured controller uh, any file which uh, lets me set up uh, my gamepad so it works well uh, with this emulator so I'm going to go ahead now and navigate to my ROMs and I'm going to come down and uh, locate a ROM which I want to play so I'm just going to come down here to say Prince of Persia and you can load up more than one if you want to but I just want to show you here how to uh, configure this so basically you want to come up to where it says graphics here and you want to set this up so you can see the back end is uh, direct 3d 11 we've also got nvidia geforce gtx uh, 1050 ti we're running the internal resolution here you can make this whatever you like okay uh, so depending on how powerful your machine is and how powerful your graphics card is will be de determined how you can 
uh, run this game or this emulator and uh, you want to make sure that you get it just right so depending on what you're using here so you can change this as much as you like to suit your needs or to get the best frame rates now once you've done that you can load up other games I'll quickly show you here just to load up another game for you so you can load up more than one game at a time so all I need to do here is go into my ROMs and I can load up another game here so I'm just going to come down here now load up Rocky. If you haven't played Rocky, it's an awesome game. So we're just going to go into config here. And you can see here we've just got a bunch of settings here like interface, audio and GameCube. And you want to go to uh, the tabs like up here and set them up how you want them. So like GameCube would be uh, your uh, joystick, how you've set that up. But normally by default, that should be OK. So let's go ahead and... Uh, take one more last look at our settings here so we can see here we're using these settings here full screen uh, uh, resolution auto use full screen got uh, v-sync off you can stretch to full screen it will look a bit stretched um, you can leave that as is for now that'll be fine not going to worry about that side of things so we can just leave that as is now and close that off and then give this a try so let's go ahead and uh, fire this up now all we need to do is highlight the game you want to play and click on play and there you go and now we've got a perfect game playing and you can have this full screen if you want to and you can see the quality of the graphics is really good it's upscaled them and it looks really good uh, and clear so there we go just a quick blast of rocky very good game and here's another one which you can play as well and that's full screen which I've set up for full screen to show you that you can set this up as full screen as well and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can play all your old retro games on Dolphin emulator on an old PC like a Dell Optiplex 7010 now of course you will have to upgrade your Dell Optiplex if you buy one and you'll have to put a graphics card in there and a bit of memory so maybe minimum of 8 gigabytes of memory and you should be pretty much good to go. I showed you how to do that. If you want to play other games like Snares, Mega Drive, any of those let me know in the comments section below and I'll make those videos for you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.